This is Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, you should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982.
Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No. Mm. Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah. I know that. Come on, let's get started. Well, I suppose from that we can assume that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Boughton wandered off that way before they close the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. Well, it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle, in Shropshire. The world's gone stark raving mad. I've a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Barb, and I'll personally deliver it for you, once this blockade is removed anyway. Come on, Bob. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery won't open itself. 
I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Cracking headache all of a sudden. Who's that? Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Hello, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. Oh, <laughs> come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the numbers slightly wrong. <laughs> Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello? Hello? Oh, Amanda, I thought you'd left town. We, we tried. We did try. But they've closed all the roads and you can't get through. And, and then Georgie and Ben said they had headaches. And then they started bleeding. And... But it was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around and, um, and you know, we saw the house was open and I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids and, and then Neil and I started bleeding as well and it just all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired, and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed, and you know, we thought Barbara wouldn't mind as their only children, and, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. I never came back down. Must be too frightened. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. Yeah. You think I could manage that, yes? Please help me. Of course I'll help you. Neil? Neil, are you there?
That's all you, it's all you're doing, that. Go away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's travelling down the wires. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. Look, get off. No, Sam, stop it. You weedy little shit. It's Give mine. Can. Give me the Just can. Stop it. I Fucking need it. Grow up. It's starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ. <laughs>